Time to the minute. How do we tell time to the nearest minute? Let's take a look at an example. A clock has two hands, the hour hand and the minute hand. The hour hand tells us the hour. It's the shorter hand. The minute hand tells us the minute. It's the longer hand. Where is the hour hand pointing? The hour hand points right after four, so the hour is four. Now let's check where the minute hand is pointing. It points after the three. It takes one minute for the minute hand to move from one mark to the other on a clock. To move from one number to the next, it takes five minutes. So let's count by fives to tell the time. Zero, five, ten, fifteen. Now we count by ones to get to our mark. The minute hand points to 18. So the time is 418 or 18 minutes after four. Let's try another example. The hour hand points after two, so the hour is two. Now let's check the minute hand. It points after five, so let's count by fives. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now let's count by ones to get to the mark. The minute hand points to 27, so the time is 227, or 27 minutes after 2. Let's do another one. The hour hand points to after 3, so the hour is 3. Now let's check the minute hand. The minute hand points to after 9, so let's count by fives. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Now let's count by ones to get to our mark. It's 48, so the time is 348. When a clock shows 31 or more minutes after the hour, we can read the time as minutes before the next hour. 48 is greater than 30, so let's count by fives from 12 to where the minute hand is pointing. 0, 5, 10. Now let's count by ones to where the arrow points. We get 12. So it's 12 minutes before 4. Let's do another example. The hour hand points to after 7, so the hour is 7. Now let's check the minutes. The minute hand points to after 2, so let's count by fives until we get to our point. 0, 5, 10. Now let's count by ones until we hit our point. We get 13. So the time is 7.13, or 13 minutes after 7. Let's do another example. The hour hand points to after 5, so the hour is 5. Now let's check the minutes. The minute hand points to after 7, so let's count by 5s until we hit our point. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Now let's count by ones to get to our point. 36. So the time is 536. 36 is more than 30, so we can read the number of minutes before the next hour. Count back by five starting from 12. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20. Now count by ones until we get to our point. We get 24. So it's 24 minutes before six. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like.
For more videos like this, please subscribe.